Hi guys, welcome back to YouTube channel Chemistry Live UGPG. Today we are going to talk about atomic structure, lecture 8, unit 1, CC1 or minor 1. So this will be highly beneficial for BSc chemistry students under CBCS syllabus. So I have a simple message for you guys. Please think for innovation, be creative, learn everywhere, anytime and help to learn others. So today we are going to talk about radial and angular distribution curves, normalized and orthogonal wave functions and sine of wave functions. So let's talk about the probability diagrams or distribution curves for radial and angular distribution of a curves. So in an atomic orbital there is probability of finding an electron in a particular region at a given radial distance and in a particular direction from the nucleus. So this gives rise to two types of probability of finding the electrons. First is radial probability distribution curve, second is angular probability distribution curve. So let's talk about radial probability distribution curve. So this is the plot of radial distribution function that is d that is equal to 4 pi r square r n l r whole square that is equal to 4 pi r square psi square versus electron nucleus distance r. So if you plot the graph uh, between uh, the radial distribution function d versus r, so you will get a curve like this for 1s orbital where n equal to 1 and l equal to 0. So this d value equal to 0 when r equal to 0 and infinity and d will be maximum at r equal to 0.53 angstrom that is equal to r1. So that becomes equal to radius of Bohr's first orbit. And radius of maximum probability for 1s electron is 0.53 angstrom. So here you can see for 2s orbital when n equal to 2 and l equal to 0. And this d value will be equal to 0 when r equal to 0 and r equal to 2r1. So you can see at 2r1 here you see a node. So of our principal quantum number n, it will have n minus 1 number of nodes. Similarly, you can find the graphs uh, the d versus r for 3d, 3p, 2p and 3s orbitals. So let's talk about angular probability distribution curves. So these curves gives the probability of finding an electron in any given direction from the nucleus with reference to its distance from the nucleus. So for example for s orbital we know l equal to 0 and m equal to 0 so that means only one direction or one orientation so that has to be spherically symmetrical. So the electron density is not concentrated to any particular direction so it is uniformly distributed to all direction. So that's why s orbital is spherically symmetrical and for p orbital l equal to 1. So the m value is plus 1, 0 and minus 1. So it has three directions. So that's why we have p orbital three types px, py and pz. So this is px, py and pz. So the axis along which their lobes of a maximum electron density lie. So let's talk about the normalized and orthogonal wave functions and the sine of wave functions. So for normalized wave function, so integration of psi i into psi i star uh, d tau equal to 1. So psi i is normalized wave function. So when this uh, integration value equal to 1, so that wave function will be normalized. And for orthogonal wave function, integration psi 1 psi 2 star d tau equal to 0. So in that case, psi 1 and psi 2 are the two wave functions and that has to be orthogonal to each other. Then when we talk about the sign of wave functions, so this is the Polar diagram are quite good for this purpose as plus and minus sign relating to the symmetry of angular overlap. So here you can see plus sign and the opposite side is minus sign. So for bonding the like sign must overlap. Squaring the wave function removes any sign from the symmetry. So despite this many authors draw shapes approximating to the probabilities the squared wave functions and put the signs of the wave function on the lobes and refer to both the shapes and wave functions as orbitals. 
so please subscribe to our channel chemistry live ugpg so this is also available in the website www.chemistrylifeugpg.com so this is for class 11th and 12th students foundation chemistry av so this is a simple step towards e-learning making life better thank you all for learning